What's up, Christ United Kids? Have you been remembering to write God's word on your heart? Let's practice our Bible verse for this week together. You ready? It is Mark 12, 30. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. Grab your Bibles, guys, and go ahead and turn to Mark 12. All right, so you probably already highlighted in your Bible that part, 1230. But we're going to actually read the entire passage that talks about why this is so important. All right, do you know who actually said those words? If your Bible has when Jesus is talking in red, these words would be in red. It was Jesus who said this because a man actually went to Jesus and said, Jesus, what's the most important thing that I need to do? And that was Jesus's answer. Love God with all your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind and with all of your strength. All right, you ready? Let's jump in. We are in Mark 12, verse 28 is where we're gonna start. And it says, one of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him of all of the commandments, which is the most important? Um, and then Jesus answers in verse 29. The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Well said, teacher, the man replied. You are right in saying that God that God is one and there is no other but him. To love him with all of your heart and with all of your understanding and with all of your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he had answered wisely, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And then no one dared ask him any more questions. Guys, this teacher of the law knew that he had to ask Jesus, Jesus, what is the most important thing that I need to do to follow you? What do I need to do? And Jesus answers so simply, you need to love me and you need to love other people. Guess what guys? This is what God has been trying to teach us from the very, very, very beginning. If you've got your Bibles, go ahead and, and flip over to Exodus, Exodus 20. So Exodus is the second book of the Bible. It's Genesis, then Exodus. And in Exodus 20, these are the Ten Commandments. Remember the story of Moses when he went up to the mountain? Listen to the first commandment that God gave the people of Israel and gave each of us. It says, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt and into the land of the slavery. Commandment num number one, you shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make, an, make for yourself an idol. And then it says, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. From the very, very beginning, God is reminding us that there is no one, no one greater than him, and that we should love him above all else. Love him above all else. So we're gonna learn more about how we do that and I think you guys probably already know how you do that. How do you, how do, how do your mom and dad know that you love them? Well, I hope that you tell them. I hope first of all, that you tell your mom and dad that you love them. But I bet they also know that you love them because you do what they say. We're gonna talk more about that tomorrow, but right now let's just go to God and tell him how much we love him. God, we love you, we love you. You are amazing. You are awesome. There is no one more powerful than you. God, help us to love you, to show you that we love you with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, and with all of our strength. God, help us to love you. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys and girls, tomorrow we're going to talk more about how we can show God that we love him, not just with our words, but there are other ways that we show God that we love him. So I'll see you tomorrow when we dig into that.